Hey guys, JT here with a quick um, after first run thoughts um, of this truck. I got this from RC um, Moment, who I explained to you guys in a couple of the other videos. And I want to let you guys know, just after running it several times, that the car ran good and nothing broke on it. Um, I haven't like jumped it 20 feet in the air and stuff. Of course, something would probably break then. But there are a couple of small things I did want to point out to you guys. Um, I told you guys before that the truck is not, um, I guess, slash or SC10 10 scale short core size. This would be more considered a 12 scale if you put it side by side compared to that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the platform could be used for a buggy too as well. So all in all, I mean, this thing has been flipped and stuff. It's ran mostly off-road um, as well. But there is one thing that's going to hold this car back, and I do recommend that if you get this, you might want to replace this to get better performance, even stock out the box like it is. You wouldn't have to replace the motor. But I do recommend replacing this two-in-one unit. And I say that because as I drive the car, when you're on throttle and you're trying to turn left or right, it's like limited to, um, I guess, the amount of voltage that's going to the servo. So when it's sitting still, it's fine. But once you get on the throttle, um, there is a limitation there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a minor upgrade to this. I have uh, one of those Hobby Wing uh, slash Red Cat type um, ESCs in there. Um, that can run, um, I think, up to 3S and down to a 12-turn motor on 2S. So I'm going to put that in, and I have an extra radio and receiver I'm going to pop in here as well. And I want to see the difference in performance when I do that. Um, it shouldn't be too much in speed. I may see another couple of miles per hour because it is going to be a higher amp speed controller. I think it's a 45 amp speed controller. And this one may be like a 25 or a 30. But I should see a difference in as far as when I'm actually driving the car around um, and the actual steering in it. So um, I'll have some videos up of that soon as well. And there's a couple other things I want to mention to you guys. When you get this kit, go ahead and make sure all the wheel nuts and stuff are tightened in because mine were a little loose. So I had to tighten those up in there. Um, as far as everything else goes, haven't had any issues or problems. I let a couple other people drive this truck, and they enjoy it. And I mean, like I said, for the price, you can't beat it for the price point. Um, you do have to wait on the shipping. But like I said, five to seven days, maybe eight days is probably what you'll wait to get it. Isn't a bad deal for an RC car of this caliber for under 100 bucks. I mean, you can go to Toys R Us or wherever and get something that costs the same but it won't be a hobby grade there's a difference between a hobby grade and also uh, i guess a toy grade you can't really replace parts on those i'm still looking around to see which parts on here would be compatible with maybe some other cars that are out there on the market as well i mean these a-arms and stuff they do look somewhat similar to some other vehicles so i'm going to continue to search and look around um, I still have yet to get inside this transmission um, as well. But it does kind of remind me of a stealth transmission or something from Associated. So I still have yet to look into that because it would be great if some other parts were kind of compatible with this as well. Um, the other thing is with the battery, you cannot, you cannot fit a standard 2S LiPo in here. It will not fit in this battery component. So you are limited to the smaller size LiPos, but... That does save you on cost. I mean, the one that comes with it is a 2,500 milliamp. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It charged to about 27, 2800. So that was good. Um, that was real good, actually, with that. So you are limited to with that, but those lipos are a little bit cheaper and stuff as well. So I do plan on trying a, a, high, a higher rating uh, 2S lipo in here as well. So... Um, other than that, after I do those um, upgrades, I will let you guys see some running videos of that. And I'll let you know the total cost. I mean, most people do have kind of radios lying around. If not, you can find more for about 20 to 25 bucks to 2.4. So if you invest that in here and then another 20 bucks on the um, ESC, you're looking at probably about 140, 50 bucks for something like this. It's if you take that route. I mean, it's fine like it is, but as I explained in some of the other videos, when you're going into a corner to make it sharp, you have to kind of hit the brakes so that there's no more throttle current going through and that you can also get a sharper turn. So I'm going to experiment with that to see kind of how that works um, and give you guys an update on that as well. So 
Um, so far, it's been fine. I, there was a little bit of a leakage of this shock here, as you guys can see there, as we were jumping and stuff. So I'm going to take those caps off and see um, if they were not screwed on wide, if it's just um, the shocks that actually leak or not. But it was just this one, and I think one of the rear ones leaked. So it wasn't all four that leaked. It was just those two. So those may not be screwed on tight. So um, anyway, other than that, like I said, it's been pretty good. I mean, you think for the price point that you're paying for this, um, we'll see about part support and the company's support as well. I'm kind of um, interested in how they're going to support if you got this and something went wrong and something like that or if something breaks, how quickly it's going to take to get parts and stuff for this. So anyways, as always, guys, don't forget to like or dislike, subscribe if you have not. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.